Today, we are talking all about booth spaces. I plan on opening a booth space in the spring of 2024 to sell all my painted furniture and my littles. This is not the first time I've had a booth and I've learned so much from my past experiences. In this video, we're gonna talk about what I'll be selling as my littles. Littles or smalls, whatever you wanna call them, they are the key to having a successful booth business. And we'll get back to talking about littles a little later. <laughs> so what exactly is a booth? A booth is a small space that you rent from an already established shop. You can find booth rentals in antique malls, antique shops, boutique shops, uh, and even gift shops. A lot of the common booth spaces that I see are about eight by 10 feet, and they vary from anywhere between, I would say 150 to $300 on average. And of course the price varies depending on the location and the size of your booth. Let's talk littles. It's so much easier for someone to walk around with their basket and pick up something small or little than it is for somebody to go ahead and take home a big giant dresser or a desk or a table. You know, for those big ticket items like furniture, they would need to maybe go home and think about it or measure their space or get a car. So most likely they're not just gonna pick up that piece of furniture in that shopping trip where if there's something small that they can put in their basket, they're more likely to pick up that. So it is essential that you have more than just furniture to sell inside your booth. X-Tool was kind enough to send me their D1 Pro 20 watt laser. This laser is gonna be my money making machine. While I'll probably still buy a few things wholesale, I wanna craft most of my items with this laser. I want my booth to feel like a high-end gift shop. So this laser is gonna help me to craft some really unique items. For the last month, I have been scouring antique shops, boutiques, craft shows, just to see what everybody's selling. It's important to know what's trending, but you wanna create some unique items because the market tends to get oversaturated with all of the same stuff. It took me about 40 minutes to put the laser together. The instructions from X-Tool were super simple to follow and anytime I felt like I was like getting stuck or a little confused, I found this really good instructional video on YouTube. And if anybody's interested in buying one of these, I'm gonna leave that down in the description box below because seriously, it was really, really helpful. Since fall is right around the corner, I thought it would be perfect to show you what kind of items I would be selling in my booth during the fall months. Aren't these just the cutest earrings that you ever did see? <laughs> They're little Halloween earrings and I love them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the blue layer and I'm gonna engrave anything that's blue. So I'm just adjusting my settings here because I did use a really thin sheet so I have to lower them from what I would normally use. And then for the second layer, which is the red, I'm cutting. So we're gonna cut the shape right out. For all my projects, I'm using the Creative Space by X-Tool. Um, it's free and I found it really easy to work with. So now I just need to frame out my piece to make sure that it's going to fit in this little piece of plywood that I have. And it is. So then I just hit framing and then I hit start and now we're processing. So here's what it looks like. This is not actually how fast it goes. I've increased the speed quite a bit. For one pair of earrings, it took about uh, about six to 10 minutes, just depending on which settings I was using. But for me, that's pretty quick. <laughs> I couldn't do this any other way. So I, I'm really impressed with this machine. I love the earrings. I bought this file off of Etsy for I think it was like $3 and it came with 15 different characters. And you can see the little hole at the top. That's where I would put the hooks. So for all my pieces, the next thing I'm going to do is use some denature alcohol to wipe them down and that gets rid of any of the burn marks and any of the like tannins and you know when you're using this kind of wood there's some glues and stuff so we're just going to clean it up with that 
Denatured Alcohol. When I finish that, I'm gonna apply two coats of shellac onto the earrings. And that is gonna keep any of the tannins from coming through because as you can see, I'm gonna paint these little guys. I have these acrylic markers that I got from Amazon and I do need two coats total, but these markers made painting a really, really simple. And then for the colors that I don't have with the markers, I just used my acrylic paint set. Um, and it just, it's just, it's really satisfying. It's really fun. You know, usually I'm painting furniture and I'll say, this was just as fun. <laughs> there are so many designs for laser cut files on Etsy that you can just purchase for a couple of dollars. Once you purchase it, you can, as long as it says you can use it for commercial use, you can sell any product you make from that file. You just can't resell the file because it's somebody else's. But I can sell these in my booth and I actually think that they're so cute <laughs> that I could sell them all year long. Um, I know that they're, you know, they're spooky Halloween, but they're really cute. If you see them in person, they're just adorable. And I added the acrylic paint here because I didn't like the way that that other red came out. I thought this looked much better. And now I'm gonna continue painting these other guys. And you can use an acrylic sealer to seal them when you're done painting. Next up is a cutting board. I got this cutting board at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale for like $5, I think, total. Um, I found another cute little fall thing from Etsy. I put it on engrave so we're not cutting this one we're just engraving it and when it was all set this is what it looks like when it's engraving I'm telling you this settings it's just really simple I looked at X tool um, I looked at a video where they engraved a cutting board I used the same settings they did and it came out pretty perfect so when it was all done it looks like it has a lot of char on it but again i just sprayed it with denatured alcohol wiped it down and that came right off i'll show you the finished products at the end of the video our next project are these pumpkins now these there's three layers to these pumpkins i i bought another file off of etsy there were i think it comes with like six or seven pumpkins all of all different sizes um, so I'm just gonna show you one here and then again at the end I'll show you a, a few more of the different sizes but yeah I just put my settings in I'm gonna cut that board this one I'm not engraving I'm not scoring I'm only cutting so I'm cutting the designs out then I'll cut out the backer board and then I'll cut out the little thing that it stands on so this X-Tool D1 Pro can also etch into glass. I can also um, engrave tumblers and stainless steel and metal tags. Um, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm gonna do more videos and like as you know, as I keep creating things for my booth to, to show you what I'm gonna have in them. But how cute are these? I love this. So again, I just hit it with the denatured alcohol and then I shellacked it and then I chose to paint the, the outlines with um, my Dixie Belle silk. I just used some white. I did variations. I kept, I did some with the backer board in um, a black in caviar and then some I just left as natural wood. But I'll tell you, the caviar is gorgeous. I, I love the black board with the black bottom and then the white it looks really mm, just really elegant and beautiful i am more excited today about expanding my creative business than ever this laser is my jam i think i'm most excited about the earrings not only can i buy um, files already done for a dollar or two on Etsy, but I can make my own designs too. The possibilities are just endless. And here's our projects all finished up. I love it. I love the cutting board. I have my grandma's recipes. I'm gonna give some gifts for Christmas and the earrings. I love them, I love them, love them. 
And then you can see the pumpkins, which have the black backer board. I love them. They look so good. I feel like we just scratched the surface about booths with this video. If you're interested in more videos about booths, about, you know, the pros, the cons, taxes, what you should put, how to decorate it, all of it, let me know down in the comments. And between me and you, I will be selling my laser items online as well, but that is yet to come. So when I say I'm expanding my business, I mean like I'm really going for it. I'm gonna leave all the information on this laser in the description box below, just in case anybody's interested in buying one. And if you're sticking to Facebook Marketplace to sell your painted furniture, you could check out this video right here where I share some helpful tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.